Well, here's some good news for people who've recovered from COVID-19. A new study finds that immunity may last years, even decades. Dr. Malika Marshall joins us live now. And Dr. Boy, this might also bode well for a vaccine, right? It sure would, and as you know, we've been a little worried about what happens to antibody levels weeks, months after someone's been infected. But these were researchers at uh, La Jolla Institute of Immunology who recruited 185 men and women who had recovered from COVID-19. And what they found was that antibody levels were actually pretty stable for six to eight months afterwards. They declined modestly, but the number of B cells, which are immune cells that actually produce antibodies, grew in number over time. So they say that actually might help protect most people from getting severe disease for many years to come if they become infected with the coronavirus again. So obviously we got to do some more research on this, but this is uh, this bodes well not only for people who've recovered, but also people who might get a vaccine. Wow, great to hear that. There are people, doctor, who worry that wearing a face mask could have a negative effect on your heart or your lungs, particularly when you're exercising. But I know, doctor, there is a new analysis of this that it is not harmful to your health. Explain. I know we all we all sort of feel like we're having trouble breathing, especially with those N95s when I've been right. working for a number of hours. But this was a team of American and Canadian researchers, and they reviewed all of the scientific studies that they could get their hands on that looked at various face masks and their effect on physical activity. And they discovered that while people may feel like they're having difficulty breathing, even while exercising, doing a lot of exertion, that there really is little to no effect on the work of breathing, their levels of oxygen or carbon dioxide, and blood flow to the brain, regardless of age or gender. Now, there is one caution for people who have severe lung or heart disease that they might need to restrict their physical activity while they're wearing masks, but for most of us, it feels like we're having trouble breathing, but it's actually not being harmful to our bodies. Yeah, I know. Even when I'm biking, it feels a little awkward, but we got to keep the mask on. Doctor, as always, thank you so much.